Former President Donald Trump and 18 other individuals have been indicted by a Fulton County grand jury in connection with the 2020 election interference investigation in Georgia. Comprising 97 pages, the indictment presents charges against Trump that include two counts of racketeering, one count of conspiring to commit election fraud, and 12 counts of conspiring to criminally interfere with state and local government elections. Among the co-defendants are Trump's legal advisors Rudy Giuliani and John Eastman, ex-White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, and several of Trump's associates. According to the indictment, Trump and his associates allegedly orchestrated a coordinated effort across multiple states to unlawfully manipulate the 2020 general election outcome in Georgia. They are accused of pressuring state officials to overturn the election results in Trump's favor. The indictment also asserts that they engaged in a criminal scheme aimed at intimidating and harassing Georgia election workers, including Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis emphasized that the indictment serves as a powerful reminder that no one is exempt from the law and underlined a commitment to safeguarding the integrity of elections. Trump, however, maintains his innocence and refers to the investigation as a witch hunt. He plans to challenge the indictment in court. This indictment marks a recent milestone in Trump's prolonged endeavors to reverse the outcome of the 2020 election. His legal challenges encompass various ongoing investigations, such as the criminal inquiry led by the Fulton County District Attorney's Office and the House Select Committee's investigation into the January 6 assault on the U.S. Capitol. Moreover, this indictment carries significance in the ongoing national conversation regarding voting rights. It alleges that Trump and his associates engaged in a criminal scheme aimed at disrupting the electoral process in Georgia, a pivotal swing state in presidential elections. The indictment underscores the importance of preventing voter suppression and upholding the fundamental right to vote. 